Hey YouTube, it's Tanya here. Sorry, excuse my hair, it's kind of fuzzy. Um, as most of you know, I have had the baby. He was born on December 12th. You can go to my Tanya Just Talks channel if you're interested in knowing more about that. Um, I'm gonna do two hauls today. Um, one is Inglot. First it's a rant and then a haul because I think something needs to be said. Uh, and the second is Mac and it's from the Tour de Fabulous which was actually supposed to be Glam Gloss um, which never came out. So they're regular lip glasses with, um, it's a new collection called Tour de Fabulous. So I have those to show you but I'm going to do that in a separate video. First, I'm going to do my rant about Inglot. So I live in Canada, and for those of you who don't know, Canada and Inglot online ordering, you can order online, but you can't order online. You have to call a number. Um, there's an Inglot Canada Facebook page. It's Inglot Canada, and there's a number there. It's a, na a lady named Leslie. She is the only person who does the ordering over the phone, which is equivalent to the online ordering. Our prices are different than the American website, just so you know. Um, and I'm sure that with how amazing Inglot's products are, Leslie is very busy. My issue is that I have an order that I placed at the end of August 2011, and it had issues with that order, and I'm still dealing with those issues now, January 2012. This is my frustration. Um, so I, so this is what I need to vent about, because I'm hoping that if... Leslie sees this or Inglot sees this or enough people are having the same issues that I'm having because from what I see on the website or on the Facebook page there are a lot of people in Canada having issues with their customer service in Canada so I wanted to make a video about it because I love the product but I hate the customer service and that needs to change so um, I'm going to read straight from I'm going to actually use my phone and my email, as you can see in my Gmail, because I want to make sure that I get these dates accurate so that I'm not, you know, just saying something and ranting and raving about something that actually didn't happen. Um, so basically, I placed an order with Inglot in August 2011. Um, and that order, the first half got paid for. Because the way Leslie did is she didn't order it through their warehouse. She wanted to do it because it was quicker if we ordered it through, like, she went to the stores and picked it up for me. Because I guess she's located in Ontario, I think it is. Ontario or Quebec, I can't remember. But she's in one of the eastern provinces where they actually have Inglot stores, which we don't have here in BC. So, anyway, I placed an order. I think it was August 31st. I can't find my original order um, thing from her. But, anyway, placed an order. So the first half of that order got paid for on my credit card, um, but I guess she needed to go to a second store to get the second half of that order. It was two um, 20 pallets that I ordered. Um, so she went and then she charged my credit card again. It was when I was purchasing all the stuff for the baby, so it was declined. Not her fault, my fault, to completely understand. It took about three weeks of going back and forth with Leslie before I realized that she hadn't been able to charge the second part of my order. So now we're already in September. So when it first declined, she didn't just call me and say, hey, it declined. It sat for almost, I think it was two weeks before we finally got it dealt with the fact that it was declined. So once, so that was already a two-week delay. They'd already charged my credit card once for half of the order. Two-week delay. So then we get the order charged for the second half, and I'm told it's going to ship out that day. Okay, great. So two weeks late, not a big deal because it's shipping out right away. No big deal. I messaged Leslie, I guess it was two weeks later. So now we're at the end of September, almost beginning of October, and it hasn't been shipped yet. There was a warehouse issue, no email, no phone call, nothing to let me know that it had, my order hadn't been shipped yet. Now my full order has been charged. The first portion of my order was charged almost a month ago, and I still have no product. And I didn't even get a phone call to let me know there was an issue. So that upset me a lot. So then I was told it was going to be shipped rapid um, because I was very unhappy. Um, so Leslie said she was going to ship rapid. I guess her shipping department screwed up and they didn't put a signature to sign. So it was supposedly delivered, but I never received it and they have no signature for it. So that's $300 worth of merchandise gone missing. So that was second frustration. And now we're like, you know, October. So I'm feeling frustrated because my credit card's been charged. They're holding on to three over $300 of mine. I have no product. Product has gone missing. So Leslie has been fantastic. I will say that. She has done everything she can. It's just the time in which it takes things to get done 
that's upsetting to me. So I'm wondering if maybe Inglot needs to see this and say, we don't need one person in Canada. We need multiple people working at that location in Canada because Leslie clearly cannot handle all of the overflow that's going on because it's taking too long to get a response. It's taking too long to get a resolution. Anyway, so Leslie sent me the rainbow palette because um, it had just come out, I guess it was October, and I hadn't received my other palette, and so they were now filing a claim for the other palette. They couldn't refund me. All they can do is send me, you know, merchandise. So that's fine. I ordered the 20 rainbow shadows, so the palette looks like this. So now we're going to talk a little bit about the product. So this is what it looks like. These are pretty accurate color payoffs, actually. Okay. I'm going to just swatch these. So I'm going to tell you why I love Inglot and why I keep dealing with them even though I'm so frustrated. Let's do the yellow, the middle yellow. Do you see the payoff on that? It is just ridiculous. That's two swatches with my finger. Let's do this blue down here. That's two swatches with my finger. It is pretty much opaque and it's a beautiful blue color. You know, two swatches. That's a pink. Like, they have amazing color payoff. They have amazing color pigment. So it is so frustrating when you have this amazing color payoff and pigment to be dealing with customer service issues like I'm dealing with and that's what's making me not want to order from them. It's really frustrating because I love the product. And so when you love a product, you want to be able to get it. So anyway, I finally received my rainbow shadows. But five of them came cracked and pretty majorly cracked. Like you can see the crack on that yellow. On the bottom there, oh, hang on. Uh, we're gonna go this way and then this way. See that huge crack on the bottom there? There's a big crack in the brown there. Um, there's little cracks that are made by me. You can see like the, this little pink one here. Uh, there's a little crack in, whoa, all the way over here. There's a little crack there, but there's a big crack on the bottom. The little cracks were me trying to get them in and out. The big cracks came in the shipping. So there, I think there was five of them. One, two, three. No, there was four of them. So four of them that came cracked in the shipping. So I immediately called Leslie. She said, yeah, no problem. Send me pictures of the cracked shadows and I will absolutely send them to you. So I sent her pictures of the cracked shadows. I assumed that meant that she was then going to send them to me. Nope. Didn't happen. So we get to November and Leslie sends me a message saying, do you know what you want to do with the rest of your credit? Because of course I ordered two 20 pallets. This is only one. So I still have credit with them for $157. And I say to Leslie, well, where are my cracked shadows? I still haven't received the replacements. Leslie's like, oh, I figured I would just send them out with the second half of your order. So this is what's frustrating to me. Clearly she's overwhelmed. She does her, she does an amazing job with fixing and, re and ramifying products when she can. But because they're, the, I'm assuming the volume of order in Canada is quite large because they're amazing products. She can't handle it by herself. So we're getting frustrated with her, even though probably not even her fault. And so I feel bad for having this rant, but at the same time, I have to rant because people in Canada need to know. If you're going to order from Inglot, you're going to get some of this to deal with. And I've seen on their Facebook page that other people are already dealing with this and no one has said anything yet. So products are amazing. Quality is great. Um, they come in these great little packages. They are a little bit heavy, but they're magnetic. So they open up and the shadows don't fall out. I really love them, and I will continue to order from them despite the problems, but the problems should probably look at getting ramified pretty quickly. Um, so long story short, I haven't received my cracked shadows yet. I have now placed a second order with Inglot, um, a replacement 20 palette to replace the one that I still haven't received since August, and another order that amounts to almost $300, I think, probably more than that, and that's my phone ringing. Just ignore that. So... That's frustrating for me um, because I want to purchase more product on top of even my credit, another $300 worth of product on top of my credit, and that's with my pro discount. So they're actually making, you know, like I have a pro discount because I'm a makeup artist. So it's frustrating for me that I'm still waiting, and now we're in January, and I've sent countless emails back and forth, and I feel like I'm constantly waiting. So hopefully the customer service issues get dealt with, and the next video I post will be of my 20 palette and all the other products that I wanted to order, and how much I love Inglot and their customer service because it's all been fixed. But until then, I'm not happy with their customer service. I love their products, and it's a shame that their customer service is so bad in Canada, and I really wish they would work on that. So that is my rant on Inglot. That's how I feel about it right now. Um, if you guys have any comments, if you guys are experiencing the same thing, or if you guys experience something different, please video response below or leave a comment. If you've experienced amazing customer service, talk about it. Because I think Leslie is amazing when she has the time to deal with it. But I think she's overwhelmed. And I think that that needs to be fixed. So 
Anyway, um, that's my thoughts on Inglot. Keep an eye out for my Mac Tour de Fabulous video, and thanks for watching. Bye, guys.